Hello everyone, this is Amira. I'm Amira from Amira's Beauty Channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and thank you for tuning in. So today I'm coming at you with a very different kind of video. There's not going to be any swatches. I'm going to let you know right now so you don't feel disappointed. Um, today I just wanted to show you stuff that I got from a website called ZC Cosmetics which I will link down below in the description box. As I understand it, there is a, they are a Japanese brand, but operate out of China, I think. Um, their stuff looks really beautiful, and I'm pretty sure you must have already seen some videos on YouTube floating around. They did some really nice collections with the British Museum, and it you have to order it. It takes about two weeks for it to get to the U.S., that's how it was for me because I ordered two different things, two different orders, and they both took about two weeks. And they also had some good uh, coupons that you could use. I got 30% uh, off of my purchase, especially the second purchase. And if you're interested, there will it will be linked down below for you. A lot of their stuff goes out of stock very quickly, and I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't get some of some of the things that I wanted because I discovered this brand very late and I'm not going to be swatching these because I'm not planning on using them. I, these are like for me like collector's items because I do like to collect certain things and you'll see what I mean pretty soon. Before we get started, uh, if you like my content, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It really does help me. And please um, subscribe, share these videos, um, it will help me with more views, comment, give me your thoughts and comments, just say hello to me, I would love to hear you, hear from you, sorry. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Here's the products I got and it's called the Forbidden City Collection. And um, what this includes is two lipsticks. I got two of the lipsticks. They're called the Gilt Gold Dragon Velvet Lipsticks. There were three shades. I got two of them. And I got a foundation. They had these two things, um, foundations and lipsticks. And wait, there was, I think, a brow pencil and a compact of some kind. Um, I'm not sure. And I think there was an eyeliner too, a liquid eyeliner pen. I was not interested in those. This is, and you'll see why I got these in just a sec. Um, the foundation is called Makeup Foundation Lotion or Gilt Gold Phoenix Luxury. That's what it's called. And one of the reasons why I don't want to use these is because all the ingredients are listed in, I think this is Mandarin. It's in a different language. I do not know what's in here, which is why I'm kind of uncomfortable putting this on me, on myself. In any case, the foundations, I am a bit disappointed to report that their shade range really sucks. I'm sorry. There's only three very, very light shades. And even the shade that I got, which is the darkest shade out of three, number three, does not work for me, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so I'm not really going to be using these, but look at the packaging of this thing. Oh my goodness. This is so stunning. Even like it feels really nice and very smooth. It's very nice. It's stunning. So there's a seal on each side when you try to open it, which I've removed and it comes out like so. And on it, it says gold phoenix yeah and then this is the foundation now tell me i mean could you blame me <laughs> look at this oh my god and i thought this was a peacock on here but i think it's a phoenix because it says it's a gold phoenix, so I don't know. I don't really know what a phoenix should look like. But if I didn't know any better when I looked at this, I would think this was a peacock. 
How beautiful is this? Look at this bottle. This is shade number three, which is their darkest out of the three shades they have. It is a pump style bottle, so that's a good thing. And I will show you guys the shade just in case. If you are very fair skinned, this might really work for you. Oh, sorry, here we go. And that is the shade and it is definitely very lotion like because it does blend into the skin very nice and smooth um, there is pigment as you can see it's a bit too light for me I could have used it um, though if the ingredient list was in English and I would know so I'm not blaming them for not using English I'm just saying that's the reason why I might not use the foundation I do have um, shade match drops custom shade drops from cover effects that I'm able to lighten or darken my foundation with if I got the wrong shade so I mix them and make it my shade but for this one because I don't know what's in it I might not so here we go all right so this is the very pretty foundation bottle and honestly I got this for the packaging I'm gonna be honest that's essentially the only reason I got this all right so I'm gonna put this right back in this box the pretty golden paper and then put this right in okay Moving on to the lipsticks. So this is what the lipstick says. It says palace identity. And then if you turn it around, it says gilt gold dragon velvet lipstick. Again, the, the same beautiful packaging. Um, everything is in, I believe, Mandarin. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in saying what language this is. And it also has, I think this is um, maybe an expiration date on here that I'm not too sure how to read. Anyway, um, the two shades I got are M05 and M08. Those are the two shades I got. The other shade, I believe, um, so these also have other names. So M05, I think, is called Princess. And M08 is called Queen. There's one more which is called the Empress. And it was more of an orange red shade. Orangey red shade. Um, which I didn't get. In any case. It's, I think this is still available. So if you guys are interested I would hurry up and order these. Here we go. This one says Gold Dragon on it. I don't know if this is showing up very well for you guys here gold dragon and this is the lipstick has a dragon on it the lipstick itself reminds me of a charlotte tilbury lipstick the gold packaging you know her um her lipsticks have like this kind of packaging and it is magnetic it says on here I have no idea what it says on there. On the back though, it has the name. It says M05. And here we go. Oof. Look at this. Um, I was sold when I saw these lipsticks. <laughs> I love the design on it. It has dragons on it. It is so stunning. I really want to use this, but I don't want to mess this up. That's the only reason I'm not going to be using this. The other collection that I was really interested in, which I kind of um, didn't get a chance to get because I found out too late, was there, there was a collaboration with the British Museum, Z, ZC Cosmetics, with British Museum, and I think it was called the... It was like an Egyptian collection, and I can't remember for sure what it was called. I will write it down somewhere on the screen um, when I am uploading this video and editing it, but 
Um, it was called something Egyptian and it had the most beautiful lipsticks and compacts, like powder compacts that I was really interested in. But it went out of stock really quick. There's a lot of fake ones on Amazon right now, so don't think those are the real ones, but here we go. It has a dragon on here. It's very pretty. This shade is so beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys the other one I have. You know what, I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to show you guys a comparison. So I'll keep this here. This is the third one. It's called Gilt Gold Dragon Velvet Lipstick Palace Identity again, yes. Um, and this one is in the shade... M08, same pretty packaging. It, again, it says Gold Dragon on here. M08. Here is the other shade. This is a nice red shade. Beautiful. Let's compare the two shades. This one is five and this one is eight. So five is a pinky shade. All right. So that's the difference. Eight, the shade called Queen is just red. Five, the shade called Princess, is more of like a pinky shade, and it looks like a peachy pink sort of shade, peachy red, maybe, a bit lighter, but that's what it looks like. I hope it's showing up nicely on the camera. Okay. So that's that. Um, I am going to put these away, but I wanted to let you guys know there's one more video after this that I'm going to post, which is also... Um, no swatching, another collection item that I got from the same cosmetics company. So yeah, um, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you guys get stuff that you never use? Do you ever do that? Um, I do that with certain items. I love collecting highlighters, like very pretty limited edition highlighters. <laughs> I do have a few. If you guys want to see that video, if you let me know, I will make a video about that and show you guys my limited edition ones that I have um, that I have barely used. So these are the three items. I hope you guys had a um, good week and I will be back with my next video soon. In the meantime, please follow me on my Instagram. My handle is linked down below and showing up somewhere on the screen right now for you guys. And I do post um, all close-up pictures, usually swatches and videos, close-ups. Uh, I won't be sw swatching these so there will be no swatch photos but close-ups of this will be on my Instagram soon. Um, right after this um, goes up I and I will see you guys soon with my next video. This is Amira signing off Bye now